Hi, you guys. Welcome back to First Impression Friday. If you are new here, this is the series where I review an entire sewing pattern collection, whether that's a whole seasonal release from the Big Five or um, a whole indie patterns like entire catalog. Today, I was browsing Simplicity's website and way, way, way down here, I saw that New Look had some new patterns out. So let's jump right in. New Look has, I think it was like five or six maybe women's patterns. They do seem sort of fallish. I don't know when these actually came out. I don't feel like I get many alerts about New Look. Um, so I'm glad I stumbled upon that little banner there. All right, so the first thing we have is a Mrs. Uh, sorry, Mrs. Jacket and Coat unlined wrapped coat and jacket with asymmetrical stand collar or relaxed fit and have tie belts and dropped sleeves. Easy rating, size options are, it's all the sizes are in one with all new look patterns, um, extra small to 1XL, and they are $3.99 online, same for in Joanne, they're $3.99 all the time. Um, I don't recall what they are at Walmart, but maybe somewhere around there too, or I know Walmart likes a 29, so maybe they're 329. I'm not sure. Leave a comment if you know for sure what they sell for at Walmart. Um, but I love a new look pattern, um, because of all the sizing in one and they're always affordable. And if there's not a sale, you can still get a cute pattern and sew something that weekend. All right. So this is the little asymmetrical drop shoulder that they mentioned, um, it is a very boxy fit, and then you tie it all up with this um, belt to give yourself a little bit of waist definition. They did this really cool treatment with, like, leather binding here to make this look, like, really expensive. I mean, this is, like, high-end, right? Here is a line drawing. Also, what's different? Is this one shorter? I don't know. Maybe they're the same. And then here's a longer version. You can see that it buttons up here. And when you leave this little part open, it kind of gives you a little bit of neckline exposure. Princess seams. This is a nice little easy basic coat, you guys. Here's the back. Side seam pockets, it looks like. But you could also convert those into um, patch pockets if you wanted. I think this would be a great pattern for quilt coat. Um, because there aren't many seams to it. Um, and yeah, I think it would be great with lots of different fabrics. They're recommending, wow, this is really blurry for me. Is it me? My eyes? Shouldn't be. Wool types, denim, ponte, fleece, scuba, and pre-quilted fabrics. Okay, so yeah, definitely a pre-quilted situation was the very first thing my mind went to. They had some really cool... Um, was it Sherpa lined fleece maybe at Joanne, but it was like mega expensive, like $50 a yard or something. So for sure you want to wait for either a coupon or a sale or something, but they have some really cool, interesting garment fabrics at Joanne. I feel like every season they're doing a little bit better, a little bit better learning what we actually want to sew with and finding good quality and all of that. So um, so yeah, check out your, your local store for that. But also these indie fabric stores are doing an exceptional job. I've seen so many beautiful wools and plaids, um, from StyleMaker. You guys saw them too, if you watched the swatch video, but, um, yeah, lots of good options for this little simple basic coat. And you can learn a lot about bias tape and bias binding too. Yeah, this one's kind of fun and inspiring. I'm surprised just right off the gate. I'm just so into it. All right, finished garment measurements. Man, I cannot read that. Uh, bust, 38 and a half to 53. So roughly an eight inch ease in the bust. And then in the hip, 32, another seven or eight inches in the hip as well. So nice and roomy and boxy and easy to fit. You will need a magnetic snap, five and a half yards of binding or braid trim. And if you wanted to do the leather look, I'm 99% sure that StyleMaker, well, I know for sure that they used to have leather bias binding, and I'm pretty sure they still do. Um, so you can check StyleMaker Fabrics for that. Um, if you wanted to do, I remember I got some black for like a vest that I was doing. So anyways, um, or DIY bond binding with non-raveling fabrics such as lightweight leather or suede. Okay, cool. Yeah, that would be a fun little adventure in bias tape. <laughs> uh, 
Okay, great start. Oh, we didn't see line drawings. There they are. So there you go. All of them are finished with a bias binding because it's not lined. But, you know, if you wanted to line it, it wouldn't be that difficult. You would just make, you know, a facing. Did I say it had princess seams? That was a lie. There's no princess seams. Um, the You would just make a facing that is roughly like, I don't know, like half of this thing up into your shoulder and around and down the other side. And then fill in the rest with lining fabric. Like one to one. It's really simple to make a lining. Okay, next... We have, what's it gonna be? A little dress, a mini dress, tubular shaped. <laughs> that doesn't sound great. Tubular shaped mini dress comes with short or long sleeves and a zipper on the side. View A has sleeve cuffs, view B has sleeve bands, view C is a turtleneck dicky. Wow, okay, I'm here for a dicky. I do love a dicky, but. Uh, hmm. Okay, so this is what we've got. She's wearing the dickie and the dress, right? Nope, A, B, C. So I'll have to confirm that B comes with the turtleneck already attached. But they use two different fabrics here. One's a little bit drapier and one is a little bit more structured. Um, gathering into the wrist, gathering into this, and then this little band is at your low hip asymmetrical. Yeah, this is just hard to pull off for a lot of body types. If you're an apple, like it's going to highlight this feature. If you're a pear, it's going to highlight this feature. You really basically have to be a rectangle, rectangle ruler um, for this to work in my opinion um but I bet it's really comfortable maybe it's because I don't really see it as like a going out thing maybe like this one feels like I could lounge around in it but then honestly I just leave the band off and just have a sweatshirt that's really long you know what I mean um okay so there they are there you some ribbing on that one it looks like here's a little zipper I don't know why you'd need a zipper though unless it's just aesthetic Yeah, I mean, can you imagine that on my pear shape? That would just be like, hello, here she is. The biggest butt in all the land. <laughs> okay, so she is wearing the dickie in that picture, and um, it doesn't come with a, a turtleneck already attached. Okay, so we've got fabrics are stretch knits, such as double knit fleece, ponte sweatshirt fleece, and teary knit. Yeah, I guess in theory those aren't super stretchy, but the rib knit should be. So you have this contrast for stretchable rib knit, um, and then the turtleneck can be sweater knits, ITY, uh, lots of things. Pretty much any, any knit that's a little bit lightweight, drapey. Um, and then a 14-inch zipper. Okay, so what I was saying is the band is done in the rib knit, so... In theory, that should stretch out a bunch. <sighs> yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't know if you necessarily need the zipper. I would try it without, unless you just like installing zippers, and then by all means, go for it. Um, but I don't know if you need that to get it on and off. You know. Um. Okay. And then, no. Ooh, we have finished garment measurements for the bus. It's really roomy in the bus, though. So they really should have provided hip measurements, but I guess it's probably negative ease in the hip and they're worried that that would confuse people. I get that. But see how it says, oh, it's B, but they didn't also mark the little C. Normally they would have like C up here by her turtleneck and then B down here. B and B. Okay, got it. Oops, line drawings again. Nothing new to see there. And then if you want to make a dicky, but you don't want to buy this pattern, I get it. You just take a turtleneck and you just chop off the sleeves and square up the, like, hem. You can make it as long as you want. But you put them underneath things so it looks like you have a turtleneck. Or you can even do it with, like, collared shirts. Like, go buy them from the Goodwill or the thrift store. And then just cut it up and hem them. And then you have, like, what would be, like, a faux collar underneath your sweaters. All right. We have this Mrs. Skirt. Very holiday-looking. Um, geez. Okay. Average 
sewing rating, Mrs. Skirt with link variations has tucks on skirt yoke. Front of skirt has box pleats with side seam pockets and invisible side zipper. Yeah, this is going to be like a lot of fabric. And it feels a little bit like high school chorus choir to me. And honestly, like I wouldn't have really styled it any differently either. She's mean mugging. She's upset. And I don't know that I blame her. Like she's like, what is this? I know. I The concept is, the, I don't, it's tough because it doesn't look bad, but it doesn't really look good. It just feels, it feels both like old, like old, like you would find this in Goodwill, like someone discarded it because it was like, you know, 45 years old or something. That's not even that old. I don't know. It just feels like not right. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Also, I'm not even entirely sure that would be super flattering having these horizontal bands going across your, well, it's like your narrowest part, but also down to your high hip. So mine's a pretty dramatic curve here. Maybe it's the pose. Of course, the line drawings don't look terrible. There's a little high-low version. And then I think that's a similar version to what she's wearing. And then there's a shorter version. Maybe it's a combination. Yeah, this is a different pose. That does look a little bit better, right? Oh, there's side seam pockets also. Maybe it's, yeah, maybe it's a combination of the fabrication. I like it with the white crisp button down, but I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it's the color. I don't know. This I don't love because <laughs> I'm going to look like a friggin' turtle or a, a duck waddling, <laughs> waddling down the sidewalk. If it enhances her derriere this much, can you imagine? It's like a shelf of pleats right there. Okay. Let's see how much fabric it takes. Yeah. Five and a half yards for the long one. For the largest size and the longest one. Yeah, that makes sense. So they are recommending sort of fancier fabrics because it's kind of like a holiday type dress or skirt. Uh, crepe, crepe back satin, dupioni, jacquard, sateen, satin taffeta. But that floral one could have easily just been a cotton or a linen or, I mean, genuinely just about anything. Um, it is also lined partially. I think just this little cummerbund part is lined. And some interfacing. Yeah, that's really it. You need an invisible zipper to get in and out of it. Okay. Yeah, like this version that they made up, the sample or the illustration that they did, could have easily been cotton or something. And this, you do want to use those kind of fabrics that they recommended because you want to make sure the right side and the wrong side both look the same. I hate when a fabric is printed and then the underside is like white or some other color. And then that's what shows that. I don't know. That just bothers me so much. But this one you could use um, a print as well. And that would be fine because you can't really see it. Maybe there's too many of these little doodads at the top. I don't know. Something about it, though, feels off. Proportions, fabrication, color, something. Okay, now we have this little number. This feels fun. Mrs. Two-Piece Dresses. Trendy, for sure. Two-piece dress set includes a crop top and matching skirt. Tops have one shoulder or two straps option with side zipper. Skirt has waistband and slit in the front. Average rating, sizes 6 to 18. Okay, basic sewing here. This is not like rewriting anything. This is a simple little top with princess seams, straps like sewn into the lining, or you have this one shoulder um, design as well. You have a little bit of a bust dart, simple one inch waistband, princess seam skirt where one seam is hemmed or like half of one seam is hemmed. So again, not anything. I don't even know why they're calling this an uh, average unless maybe with the zipper, it makes it a little bit more challenging. Um, but if you don't like 
a crop top skirt, but you like this silhouette, just attach them. Extend this down to the waistline, remove the waistband, you have a waist seam instead, and you can just make a little, simple little dress. See how much happier she is in this one though? She likes this, she feels cute. She looks cute, she should be smiling. <laughs> okay, so here are all the things, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with fit or anything like that. Again, it's pretty basic, you know? It might be nice to have just these as like simple little blocks. I don't know that I have oh, anything that is just like this simple in terms of just a, a bodice. I'd have to look. The pencil skirt is not really for me. I don't love, love, love them on myself, but I could see myself using both of these little tops a bunch. Okay, so fabric is cotton blends, crepe back satin, sateen, taffeta, velvet, novelty sequins, leather-like fabrics. For sure. I could see, like, yeah, stretch sateen they have in here. Any of the, like, you know, fancier bridal type of stuff, any of that would be really pretty in this, too, if you wanted to do, like, a wedding look. Um... Okay, so bust has three inches of ease. That feels appropriate. Waist, there isn't really a waist unless they're counting the skirt as the waist. Oh, they're not giving the waist. Okay, cool. And then the hip is 30, yeah, close fitting hip too, two and a half, three inches. So yeah, close fitting all around on this guy. But that little tops, the both of the tops are little one yard wonders. I love that. Great little scrap buster you can wear with high-waisted pants or jeans or whatever. And, you know, if you're uncomfortable having it be that high, just extend it by a couple of inches. It's not going to add that much to your the fabric requirements. Cool. All right. So that's that. Cute. I love the sample that they made. Good job. Not really here for the hot pink, but the hot pink is supposedly like the new millennial pink. So, okay. Now we have a little, um, unisex cargo pant. Okay. I mean, let's get into it. Unisex cargo pants include bellows pocket with flap and drawstring at waistband. View A has front patch pockets, flat webbing with plastic parachute clip and cord stoppers at the bottom of pants. View B has side seam pockets, patch on front, and nylon webbing plastic snap buckles. So these are very utilitarian. Util is that the word? Utilitarian? They're not just like pockets for the sake of having pockets. Like they intend for you to fill them up, clip things to them, like go fishing, <laughs> you know, like do actual activities <laughs> no other than just wearing them. But you know, you can make them pink. <laughs> they can still be cute. Um, so yeah, drawstring. This is the, oh, I forget what they called the pocket. Hold on. Let me see. Um, bellows pocket is what that is called. Seen them before, but I never knew what they were called. So that's when they're like 3D, like they stand out from the garment. Then you have these flaps. This is the little flat webbing they're talking about. And then the, um, cord stoppers at the ankle. They look really cute on her. And then you have, view, that's view A, what she's wearing. Then you have view B, which is what he's wearing. And you just have side seam pockets and like patch pockets with the webbing. Little long on him. Yeah, super cool. I don't know how I feel about this long thing like dangling down off my body, but I would make them like this and maybe leave the patch pockets off. You know, that looks really cool. Maybe do elastic instead of the ripstop. I just don't like things like just willy nilly hanging off, lying around. I guess because I'm pretty clumsy, I think that's what it is. And I can just see myself like, that getting stuck in the door or <laughs> somehow magic somehow magically me tripping on it um even though it's not touching the floor I would figure out a way that's a cute top are we gonna be able to make that there's the back of UB too with the patch pockets okay 
So, yeah, the measurements on this are going to be a little bit interesting for women's wear simply because it's made for men and women. But it looks like a 8 inches of ease in the hip. Well, 6 to 8. I don't know how there's a range. How is there a range? When you go to cut out your pattern, you're not, it's one, it's one measurement. I don't know. Um, okay, so they're, yeah, flat nylon. Oh, wait. Fabrics are cotton blends, nylon, ponte, sweatshirt fleece, tearing it. Oh, sweatshirt fleece and tearing it. So, yeah, you could absolutely use these as just like a little jogger pattern, too, and just leave off all the pockets, of course. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Um, but, yeah, like a rip stop situation, nylon for sure. And then a little bit of fusible interfacing. And then you need like a ton of webbing and clips and snaps and twill tape and all kinds of things to make them the most usable. Okay. Here's the line drawing. Yeah, very accurate to the sample. I think they're really cool. Not sure I have like a need for something that useful. But they are cool. <clears throat> I'm not mad at them. Okay, this is a Mrs. Top. It has self ties, ruffled collar or buttons, and self loops. Both tops have puffed sleeves and two lengths. Average rating. This already feels right up my alley, but it's like a more like a jacket than a top because you can see through it. But it has that big oversized collar we've been seeing a bunch with the ruffle in it. Then this um, raglan sleeve with elastic in the hem. This one comes all the way down with like an actual sleeve cuff um, and has uh, loops and buttons, whereas this one just has little ties. That's more of like a blouse. I think you could probably wear that without anything underneath it. Yeah, I'm trying to look at this and think of it as just more of like a layering piece. I don't know that this, yeah, that I don't, I'm not sure about the styling, but as a layering piece, especially like as we come back around into where like the weather's a little bit more transitional, I can see that being useful in like a linen or something, just throw on over your sundresses, over, I mean, I don't mind it with jeans. I just feel like it's a little bit, those, I didn't like those jeans, I guess. <laughs> um, but they're saying cotton types, poplin, voile, silky types, lightweight denim, lightweight linen. You know what? It could also be something to consider for a winter wedding or like a holiday party. I'm not entirely sure about the collar and the ruffle with that, but you could make some alterations there um, and make a cute little just like throw on piece for like an event. Um, and then, yeah, it's really boxy, really loose fitting everywhere. Um, elastic buttons, bias tape, the usual notions that you would need. Okay. Gosh, I wish I could make this little honey thing go away, but on this website, it shows up. On other websites, it doesn't show up at all. I don't know. It's just simplicity. Um, but yeah, so there's our line drawings. Pretty versatile considering like you could make this a top. You could even like sew up the center front and then just leave it open from here. You know what I mean? And finish this the same way as instructed. So then you'd have like a true blouse. Or, I mean, by all means, you don't have to wear anything under this one. You could be necky under there, show a little bit of skin. I won't judge. <laughs> okay, that is it. I think these are kids' patterns here on the bottom. Yes. All right, so what do we think of this small um, but sort of mighty, <laughs> mighty in some areas, collection from New Look? I think some things that were good were really good and then things that were not good were really not good. Um, but all in all, I think that there's, there's not other than this one. I, uh, and maybe this one, um, that I just think 
I don't, I don't know how to right the wrongs there. But these four, I think, are very doable and maybe not appeal to the same person, um, but all look really good and the design is fun and, like, you know, purposeful within a wardrobe. But I want to know what you guys think. So leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys think of this collection, if you're going to be picking up any of these. Um, patterns, like I said, $4 everywhere always. So... I always check out the new look patterns, but that's going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.